What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Crash Play Gaming. I'm your host Crash and a huge shout out to all of my current subscribers. I'm still a little shy of 100 as I'm recording this video. So if you're here and you're new, subscribe to the channel. Helps out a lot. I have a goal of 100 and I really do appreciate all of my subscribers and I'll appreciate you too when you subscribe. So, huge shout out. Thank you very much. Talk a little bit about the video. Bet you didn't see Gengar VMAX coming. Bet you didn't. Let's get into the question. All right, folks, we know what time it is. Time to go over the last video's Pokemon question of the day. And how many different Pikachu cards exist in the TCG? Looking for those different name only. So if you said, if you counted Surfing Pikachu V and Surfing Pikachu V Max, that wouldn't be right. I was only looking for one. To me, those are the same cards. But anyways, there are a lot of different TCG uh, Pikachus. And QB, I think you were the closest. You said 67. This Pikachu V Union card, that's oh, on this side, has a lot of the actual different Pikachus that have been printed in the TCG, so that's really cool. 67 is a close number. I believe I counted about like 69, 68, I don't remember. You were close enough for me to give you the points. So QB, you got three points. You win. Congratulations to you. You need to uh, either follow me on uh, Twitter so you can send me a message with your Pokemon TCG username, or you can leave it in the comment for this video, or you can email me through YouTube. Plenty of ways to contact me, but I need that PTCG username so that I can go ahead and send you a trade request with your stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video's questions. All points are reset, so everybody's starting at zero. And let's start with, this Pokemon is modeled after Mex Mexican-style wrestling. Who is this Pokemon? Go ahead and leave your answer in the comment section down below. And while you're there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, helps out a lot. Deckless time. I bet you never thought to see Gengar VMAX again, and well, to be honest with you, neither did I, but Gengar VMAX just, it hits a pretty good number. So, we got two attacks here, both requiring all darkness energy, so Fear and Panic does 60 damage times uh, the amount of Pokemon V your opponent has in play, or GX, but there are no GX in the standard format, so just Pokemon V. They got two Pokemon V, hitting 120, they got 40, hitting 240, good numbers. And then G-Max Swallow, I think, is the main attack that the Gengar is going to try to use. Hits for 250, but if we have a choice belt, hits for that magic 280 on V-Stars. And so how are we setting up our Gengar V-Max? Not the usual way. We're doing the speed variant with the Mysterious Tail Mew Engine. So this Mew lets us look at the top six cards, top six cards, and lets us get an item and put that into our hand. And then we have the Radiant Greninja with the Concealed card, so we can discard a Darkness Energy and draw two cards because, well, we have Dark Patch. We can power up our Gengars relatively quickly because of Dark Patch. Then we got two other attackers here. Hoopa, 90 damage if it moves from the bench to the active. Galarian Moltres, just because it's a good card to have. We need to have a way to hit, you know, Mill Tanks and all that kind of stuff. And we have two Crobats to help us draw as many cards as possible. Two Battle VIP Passes, which are incredibly good in this deck. And then one Tool Scrapper, which is useful, I promise you. Two Switches, three Scoop Up Nets, four Quick Balls, two Energy Searches. This is this is the main engine that we use to cycle the Muse and get everything going and set up. Because we have a very, very light supporter count. We also have a four copies of Cross Switcher. And to be honest, I think this is the first time I'm using Cross Switcher on the channel. So, good to know. And I think we've only used it once in one of the videos. <laughs> Anyways, let's scroll down a little bit. Two trekking shoes just to help us dig. You can take these out if you want. Two Ultra Balls, one Training Court, also another card you can get rid of. Two Averys, one Boss, and two Marnies. So, and one Raihan. We only have six supporters in this deck. This deck really relies on playing these item cards and using Mew and Greninja. Then we have one Air Balloon, two Choice Belts, and then 11 total Dark Type Energies. Two of them being a Hiding Darkness Energy. That's the deck. Let's go watch it in action. All right, going up against the Arceus Duraludon, it seems. Quick Ball is fantastic for us, and an Energy Surge, so we will be able to charge up the Gengar pretty quickly here, which is fantastic. Oh, I might just Quick Ball away the Galarian Moltres for this one. Don't necessarily need it, so I think that's what I'll do, since I can attach an Energy for turn. We'll wait and see what happens with our opponent. They're down to one card. I don't know what that one card is, but it's kind of scary. Two energies. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of the Galarian Moltres. There's a Gengar. Go ahead and grab a Gengar. Put that guy down. Give him an energy. Go ahead and use concealed cards. That's out of here. Gengar VMAX is fantastic. Let's give that there. Um, I 
think we just hold the hand. Yeah, I think we just hold. Hopefully that last card is not a Marnie or anything. I would really, really like it if they don't get Marnied. Evolution Incense, okay. Here comes the Arceus V-Star. So they could grab a Switch and a, what's it called? And a double turbo energy and put it on this one to charge up their Pokemon. Could also grab a Research and a Marnie. A Research or a Marnie, not Research and Marnie. It completely messed me up and I hope they don't do that. There's a double turbo, there's a research, so they didn't opt to go for a switch. Which is interesting to me. Evil Incense, that'll grab them a Durlude on VMAX. Okay, they switch into the Arsis. Gonna be able to do GMAX Swallow Up or 60, 120, 180. Oh, they played down another one. I think I have enough to just use Fear and Panic. Well, let's go ahead and evolve. We can switch into the Gengar VMAX. Mm, let's go ahead and do energy search. Grab that. We'll attach it for now. Play Crobat. Maybe I can get another... Maybe I can get a boss or something. Okay. A Mew. Let's go with the Ultra Ball here, get rid of these. Grab another Gengar. Then we can Marnie our opponent. And then we can save the rest for later. Six down for each of them. We're hitting 240. We took a knockout there, but we missed anything else, which kind of sucks. Still have GMAX Swallow Up though, which is good. Need a Choice Belt. Hiding Energy doesn't really help us too much. Although I can conceal cards that away. Our Gengar VMAX is going to take a hit. And they're searching to get their next Dura loot on up. It's going to take them a couple turns. Is there a way? We can't one shot this Dura loot on, but if we can find Double Cross Switcher. We might be able to take a knockout on this Durlude on VMAX. If we find a boss, we might be able to do it. Okay, we have to go through Arceus and one Durlude on VMAX. So, that'll be something we gotta work on. Dark Patch is actually really good because we're gonna go down next turn. So, we'll attach that energy there. Go ahead and conceal cards away the hiding energy. Cool. Uh, quick ball away the battle vit pass. Um, just, I guess I'll just get out of Hoopa. Can't stitch. Uh, I can dark patch to it. Hit it for ninety, right? Yeah, we can try this. Yeah, yeah. I'll have the Hoopa for next turn, and then I can just hit. Okay. Give them three prizes now, or I retreat into the Hoopa, hit it for 90. Then I risk them having a boss. There are two bosses down, though. Three bosses down. I like doing the Hoopa play, then. Scoop up the Greninja so I can get that Darkness Energy in the discard. And then I can Dark Patch to him. Switch into the Hoopa. And then Assault Gate for 90. Which should put this Dirlude on VMAX into range if they don't heal. Or Gengar VMAX, which is fantastic, and we only give up one prize. They're down three bosses. They could play four. I'm betting on that they don't. Okay. Seems good to me. Seems good to me. We'll go put the Mew because I have a scoop up net here. 
also just got a air balloon, which is fantastic. Mysterious tail. Oh, let's grab the Ultra Ball, right? Ultra Ball away the training court and air balloon. Get another Gengar VMAX. Let's get rid of these. Gengar VMAX. Uh, let's go ahead and Crobat. Yep, yeah, let's Crobat. See what we get. Darkness Energy. Choice Belt. We're going to attach the Darkness Energy now. Scoop up the Mew. Uh, let's see. 60, 120, 180. Not enough. So we have to go into with this uh, Gengar and then we can Marnie our opponent. That stuff at the bottom. There's a dark patch, unfortunately. That's okay. That just means we have a Gengar for next turn. And we G-Max Swallow up. Swallow up the Duraludon. Hopefully they don't have a Metal Energy in their hand. And we need to get another Cross Switcher. Which Raihan provides. I think we got this one in the bag. Raihan gets us another cross switcher and we can just go on with our Gengar VMAX, taking out Kononarceus, and we win. Ordinary Rod gets our opponent those metal energies back. If it were me though, I would not have put in that VMAX, I would have just put in the metal energies. Teach their own. I think they be Ooh. Oh no. That's a solid tool jammer. I'm not going to lie. We do play tool scrapper, I believe. We do play tool scrapper. All right, going up with Crobat. That that's <laughs> That was a solid thing. Um, how can I search my deck here? Without using Raihan right now. Energy search. Tool scrap is there, and we have one more cross switcher in the deck. Okay. So then we conceal cards. Hopefully, draw one of those two cards. No, we don't get it. We can retreat into Mew though. Quick ball away this Avery. Grab a Mew, thin the deck some. Play down the Mew, attach the hiding dark energy. Retreat into Mew. Uh, give him a choice bell, just thin my hand. And then we can go Mysterious Tail. There's the second cross switcher. And then we can Raihan. Get the Tool Scrapper. Play the Tool Scrapper, get rid of that and that. And then we play the Cross Switchers. Gengar VMAX, and they can see, no, they didn't let me swallow the Arceus. Dang it. All right, going up against Dragapult, we get to go first here. Quick Ball, I guess, is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and Quick Ball away this Marnie. Grab another Mew, see if we can dig a little deeper here. Play that down, scoop up the Mew. Go into Mew, get something else. Striking Shoes is perfect. Let's do that. No, we don't want to draw that. Play that there, scoop up this Mew. Still trying to find something to help us out here. Uh, I guess we're gonna stop and just do a quick ball. Quick ball away the Ultra Ball. Get down Gengar. Just hoping to get into a battle VIP pass. Switch into that Mew. We might be able to. Missed it. Energy search is good though. At least get an energy on this turn. And I'll take it. And then we're done. We'll pass. We'll see what we can get next turn. We got a Marnie, we got a Gengar VMAX. If they play down some more Vs, we might be able to take a good hit 
onto this Dragapult who is weak to us. Ooh, Crushing Hammer, Flip Tails, all right. Actually, it doesn't matter too much because we have Dark Patches. So crushing Hammer doesn't hurt us too much, but would have been nice to be able to do a Fear and Panic. They played on another Dragapult. We're hitting for 120 with a Choice Belt. We don't even need a Choice Belt for hitting for 120 on a Dragapult V. So we'll be okay. We do get Marnie though. We lose our Gengar VMAX, which is a little bit of a pain. Battle VIP pass came a little late there. <laughs> Did get Radiant Greninja Energy though, plus Avery, which is nice. But we missed a way to get the Mew out the active, unless I draw into a way to retreat. I'm trying to think. Okay, play down that Crobat, I can one-shot your Dragapult next turn. If I can get the VMAX down, switch Mew. Big if. Don't mind your crushing hammers, to be honest, and they bite me. <laughs> Dragapult bites. Air balloon. That's one way to do it. Okay. Let's go ahead and Mysterious Tail. Choice Belt seems like the best option there. Attach that. Let's go ahead and Avery before I do concealed cards. All right, we will be able to get the knockout, which is good for us. Let's go ahead and scoop up the Mew just to avoid getting damage. Go into this one and we'll do another Mysterious Tales. Do we have any? We will have a Darkness Energy in the discard. So I'll grab a Dark Patch, seal cards that away. Okay. Dark Patch onto Gengar. Air Balloon. Treat. VMAX. And then we just do GMAX follow up. Hit for weakness. Can't attack next turn, which is fine. They just concede like that. Couldn't handle it. Too powerful. See, he's got the purple version of my coin. And we got a pretty interesting starting hand. I don't, if I do say so myself, can literally play our whole hand out, which is fantastic for us. Ultra Ball for Crobat. Going up against Mew. Easy matchup for us. Might even be able to take a knockout on the Genesect turn one. Might. Keyword there. Might. See what our opponent's able to do though so we're going to want to set up two gengars at least because they could boss one up which will be no fun for us though we do know if they miss an energy this turn ooh, they're going to get a fresh three nice if they miss an energy this turn though they have to at least a sparkle next turn Wow, they couldn't play any of those three cards that they drew. Okay, another Genesect. Get him two more cards. Hopefully no energies. Bummer, one of them is an energy. It means that they don't necessarily need at least a Sparkle next turn to take a knockout on a Gengar. Chromomatic Flip Tails, please. Flip it to Tails. Alright. Oh well, they still get two more cards. <laughs> okay, our turn. What can we get going here? Let's go Battle Vip Pass. They might just concede after they see the Gengar. Who knows? Um, what do I do here? I think I do the Energy Search. Grab out another Energy. Let's go with Trekking Shoes first. No, we'll discard it. Getting Crobat's cool. Let's do a Mysterious Tail. Another Battle VIP Pass I think is better than Dark Patch right now. So I want to get down two Gengars. Okay. Cool. Gengar and another Mew. No, I have one in my hand. Just Gengar then, right? Just Gengar it is. Let's go ahead and conceal cards. Get rid of that. 
another energy search is perfect. Attach that, play down this Mew. I'll keep those cards. Do I need, do I need to do anything else? Yeah, let's scoop that up, play down this guy. Mysterious Tail. Guess we take Air Balloon for now. Play down that Mew. Attach the Air Balloon. Boop, boop. Another Mysterious Tail. Dark Patch is good. Spread out the energy. And then I can Crobat. And we'll leave it at that. So they can, if they want to, knock out one of my Gengars with their Mew Max, but I'm just gonna come up and take a knockout regardless because I've spread out the energy and have energy search in my hand. They don't play hand disruption. So I think we're, I think we're solid. We have Ultra Ball for VMAX. Escape rope from our opponent will give you the Mew with the air balloon, that's fine. Ooh, Pokemon Catcher, Flip Tails, please. Perfect. Well, like I said, I don't mind the Gengars getting knocked out. One of them. It's okay. Doesn't look like our opponent actually has much. They might just concede. Ultra Ball, here, can, here comes a Mew VMAX. Ooh, Battle Vip Pass. Why didn't they play that last turn? They must have drawn it. Oh, they get out of Meloetta. Okay. Do they have at least a spark on their hand? No, they would have played it. Charmomatic. I was expecting them to flip ahead, so that's fine. I don't want them to flip all tails. That wouldn't make this game any fun. They gotta get their strategy going too. Oh, well, well, they can see it. I don't think Mew would have beat us anyways. So, they saw our setup, we were good. All right, we start with the Crobat, and I'm trying to get a game where people just don't concede really quickly. So that I can include this one besides the other ones that I got. So we're going against looks like Arceus and Teleon, which is a winnable matchup for us as long as we don't play Tool Jammer. We've seen that before, but I have Tool Scrapper just in case of this. So I think I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well that switch is actually pretty nice. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get an energy out. And we're going to quick ball that away so that I can grab Gengar. So I'm going to go ahead and Marnie this turn. Uh, Dark Patch to our Gengar. And Marnie. Don't mind leaving the Crobat in the active right now. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Let's make the Sobble go to sleep. Dark Slumba, stay asleep. Dang it, dang it, they can retreat it. Ah, oh, but I'm sure they could anyways. We have Gengar VMAX for next turn, which is nice. But we don't have a much else. We have two Avery's and one Marnie for draw support. So when it gets like this, we're kind of, we're kind of stuck. Unless our opponent's stuck too and we can take a prize, maybe that'd be cool. Be really cool if they didn't do anything. Maybe they Marnie me. I also don't mind being Marnied. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. What do they get me into, though? Hopefully, they don't get themselves into anything. Energy, Choice Belt, Mew, Trekking Shoes. Big Charm helps them. Doesn't look like they can retreat. Okay, trekking shoes. Yes, we'll take an Avery. We'll play the Avery. Hmm. I don't know if I have another Crobat in the deck. Play down Gengar. We're going to Ultra Ball away the Mew and Energy. We do have another Crobat, so that's good. Can play this. Can play this i can crowbat for five not exactly anything i wanted but i mean it's something take a knockout at least 
quick ball. No, well, don't want a quick ball. Well, quick ball does get us a Mew, so it kind of helps. Our opponent seems to be a little stuck. They're promoting another Sobble. Avery from our opponent gets them three cards. They might get what they need there. We'll see. Unfortunately, though, I would have to pay to manually retreat into a Mew if I wanted to. Then again, the Mew might get me going. I can always scoop it up. I might do a keep calling here double spin, okay? Double tails. Our opponent is really another energy though. We're gonna quick ball for a Greninja, because that can draw some cards. Which is what we want. Greninja, quick ball. I mean concealed cards. Dark patch is good. Throw that there. Scoop up Greninja. Do it again. Another Dark Patch and a Mew. Ugh. Go ahead and Dark Patch to our Greninja there. Or Gengar. Touch the Hiding Darkness energy and then... We're going to do Pain Explosion and get this Sobble out of here. I don't care that we have to do three damage counters to ourselves because honestly, RCS V start to take a knockout anyways. And now we're down. Now we have two prizes. Don't give them an extra turn. Put the pressure on. They might just concede. All we realistically need to do is find a Gengar V Max. Or they just concede like that. We'll take another win. Sorry I couldn't get a full game in, but we got one at least for the video. Well, I do apologize. It was really hard for me to get a full match in on this video. A lot of people just conceded after a little bit. And who can blame them? Gengar VMAX hits for solid numbers and does pretty well. Especially the turbo time. You set up Gengar turn one, turn two, and you're good to go. I do, though, would recommend that you do add in one more Gengar V into the deck. Because sometimes it's a little awkward when you only have one in the deck if you prize one. So you could probably remove the training court now that in. I don't know. Remove your trekking shoes. You could play around with the deck, I'm sure. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Crash Play Gaming.